Good morning and welcome to my daily life vlog. Um, I'm going to be filming for about a week-ish, give or take a few days. Um, today is actually my day off and I'm literally just waiting for a parcel to arrive. I've been trying to film a weekly vlog now for like so many times. I've lost count and every time I do try and film I end up getting X amount of content and then I don't realise that it's actually not even enough. But regardless of what I do this week, it will be going up. So what's going on today? I've got some parcels that I'm waiting for. Um, today is literally just going to be a chill day. I've got a little bit of editing to do. Um, and then tomorrow I've got a two day event that I've got to go to, that I've been asked to go to. Um, I've got quite a few events actually this week. And then I've also got work, so what I'll do is I'll try and film up to the point of actually heading into the premises. Um, and I'll try and film, if I can, um, some of what I actually do while I'm inside the office. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, oh, today's Saturday by the way. Uh, Sunday, Monday I'm at this event and then Tuesday I'm off out with my mum and um, we've got a few appointments that we've got to go to. Wednesday, I have no idea what's going on Wednesday but I'll catch up with you when it gets to that point anyway so yeah it's a relatively busy-ish week this week Um we'll just see how it goes really so yeah catch you in a bit. Eventually. So yeah basically i uh, just thought i'd give you a quick update i've just finished filming um for a sponsored content video that i've just done um and it looks amazing it will be out shortly um if it's not actually all out already uh, da, 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 what else um yeah i've just been chilling today it's now what 20 20 yeah. past two in the afternoon um, and I started filming at 8 o'clock this morning so <laughs> it's been a long couple of hours um, oh sorry mum I was meant to give me mum my tea um, yeah I'm just having a bite to eat at the minute um, I'm just getting everything sorted I'll catch up with you in a little while because uh, I need to do this editing now um, and then go from there really so I'll speak to you in a little while Hi guys so it's been quite quite a few hours now um, since I last filmed um, done all of my bits that I needed to do on my computer um, I've had a bit of a migraine trying to start on me hence the glasses and I've also had my meds now so um it's to basically stop me from getting a migraine fingers crossed in the morning i'll be fine um but either way i will be filming it tomorrow anyway and i'll give you an update in the morning so with that being said i'm going to say good night and i shall see you in the morning night -night. and I'm currently looking around there's quite a few new things but there's also a few things missing as well there's more press books so um, we have the usual NSI we've got um, Dermalogica we've also got Elemis and all the rest of the companies that I like normally here um, we do have a few new companies so what I'm going to try and do I'm going to try and get some footage of the new companies and then we'll go from there basically and um, hopefully get some samples.
one, I am pooped and I'm going home. So, day two, uh, literally just got here a minute ago um, and decided to go and buy something already. So, we'll see how we get on. I'm going to do a, bit, a little bit of footage as well as maybe uh, another seminar. Um, I'm on my way to now towards a seminar for sugaring, which is an alternative to waxing. So I'm just going to go to that seminar now and then we'll see where we go from there.
came back in a little while. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get a bit drunky, drunky. I would have one nice nail. <laughs> Good morning guys so it's a chilly autumn no Wednesday morning today happy hump day so basically um, I'm just dropping off I'm just waiting for my mum now um, she's at another appointment Tuesday was it was just a bit of a mad one uh, we, me and my mum was in and out of appointments all day um, but yeah basically we just did some errands uh, did a bit of shopping um, and then just ran around like headless chickens basically um, I got a lot done yesterday and I completely forgot to take my camera and yeah so today I am leaving this car at home um, and I'm, then I'm going to be going to get the bus only because um, where I'm going to be going the parking is horrendous so it's just best that if I just take the bus and just walk around and whatnot. I've got a few bits to get for Christmas. Um, yeah, it's all just today's literally like not, not necessarily working from the office, but I will be in the office area just in case, you know, I'm needed. Um, I've got a lot of paperwork to do and a lot of editing to do as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much today's plan. This year, towards the end of this year, it's really looking up. I feel blessed, guys, honestly. Like, I'm not sure like if you guys know, and welcome to the new subscribers well, by the way. But it's now officially been two years since my uh, cervical cancer was cleared. And I'm now in my second year of remission and since i was told i've literally just taken every single step to ensure that i'm living my best life and i have ups and downs but i really am living my best life i i've got an amazing family i've got amazing friends i've got amazing colleagues that i can count on and you know and i've got those that are around me now than what I didn't have before that I can count on and I can I feel comfortable with them being around and you know having that confidence with having friends like that can do you the world of good I it's it's an absolute blessing to have people like that in your life so yeah with that being said anyway guys I'm just gonna leave it here because I can see my mum coming out now so just dropped off some parcels oh it's a wee bit windy today just dropped off some parcels and i'm on my way into town now lying awake with a sob of an emptiness you left behind trying to sleep but the silence is haunting this room every night i can tend to feel this way Six and a half hours later. Officially done for the day. Um, went to my last meeting, had to go to uh, the actual event where it was. Um, on my way home now, <laughs> I'm cold. I know I keep saying I'm cold, but guys, when I say to you, when it's less than double digits, I don't play. This girl late for play play, okay? So just on the way home now, uh, I'll probably update you when I get home and then we'll actually get a brew down in it. Didn't want to say goodbye to you, bye to you, but you're gone. Oh, I wish the sun.
home now. Um, I'm just trying to get through to my place now. <sighs> Exhausted. Through one security door, into another security door, into another security door. So yeah, I've literally just got home now. I'm gonna get myself warm um, and then get a bit of editing done. And then go from there really. <sighs> In our cold today. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to be doing for the rest of the evening, guys. So, with that being said, I think I'll probably leave it here. Um, and then I shall see you guys in the morning. So, good night. Why, hello there. So, today's Thursday. Uh, it's actually food shop day today. So, um just nipped into tesco need to nip into the market now as well um, and then we're going to go out there today is just a bit of a chill day um, i'm meeting up with a couple of the girls this uh, tonight um that i've not seen in a while and we're going to go for a pre-christmas meal which is what we normally do anyway and um, yeah just have a nice chilled um couple of days i'm not driving today and um, my mum's boyfriend decided to that he wants to drive today so um i'm giving him the car and then i'm going to get an uber to uh the place where i'm going to be going tonight um only because i'm drinking and i don't fancy driving um this morning i woke up completely forgot to film this morning guys it's now i think it's about one or two one half one sorry half two it's half two where's the day gone I've got work this weekend, um, again, um, last day uh, this weekend, so hopefully I'll be able to start filming um, inside the place, I just need to get the licences for that and then I can start filming inside one of the places that I do work in for, on behalf of the company that I work for. I've got quite a few new things that I've been given on behalf of other companies um, and I just need to film them I'll probably film them on Sunday uh, and basically do like a little bit of an unboxing kind of thing a PR unbox um, guys oh I've not even told you how far so this vlog is actually being part sponsored so I'm really really grateful for that um, I'm really grateful for everybody's support so far um, and welcome to the new guys that I've just subscribed as well I am over the moon that I've managed to get this um, sponsorship from one of like to me it's quite of a big thing because I have got a small channel and small channels don't necessarily get the recognition that they need or deserve and I'm just really really over the moon right now yeah this vlog is part sponsored thank you <laughs> and yeah i'm literally just chilling today um i've got nothing to do today no paperwork no emails gratefully um <sighs> my arms aching <laughs> i've literally just got this new tripod and i'm getting used to actually wearing it and um, wearing it i'm getting used to handling it even and yeah i'm just gonna Oh, my skin looks really bad. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. I'm literally just getting over the cold at the minute as well. Um, I need to stop saying sorry as well. I don't want to have to keep apologising for things and keep having to apologise in for not being able to upload. I've already explained why I can't upload all the time and I feel like I have to keep apologising and I don't want to keep apologising because you guys can understand like with me working and all it's one of those things where I can upload certain things but because of the NDA agreement and you know the company's um, policies I can't do certain things yet um, but my plan of action is to basically, um, after a certain amount of years of working there now, my plan of action is to start breaking off and um, not necessarily leaving the company, but start uh, going part-time 
because I'm currently there full time and guys I do a lot of hours there a lot a lot of hours and I don't necessarily get to see my family as much as what I used to and I do miss that I really really do um but yeah I'm gonna leave it here and then I'll get back to you and I'll catch up with you a little bit later on and just go from there because yes today is a good day it is a good day Hey y'all, so officially in uh, the pool right now, eating and drinking. <laughs> uh, once everybody gets back to the table, I'll introduce everybody to you and then we'll go from there. So, um, we're literally just having a good time right now. I'm not even sure if you can hear me probably because it's really noisy in here. Uh, but we're really just like enjoying ourselves, enjoying each other's company and drinking the night away. Yeah. Anybody else want to wave? We're on it regardless of whether you like it or not. <laughs> A lovely time I'm absolutely exhausted Um, I'm just gonna go to bed now so I'm gonna leave it here good night y'all god bless hi I don't even know if you can see us properly so yeah we're just in the Manchester Airport at the minute Um, we're gonna go and make a few plans but what I'm gonna do is guys um, I'm gonna film a little bit today I've got to go to the cemetery because it's my granddad's birthday today. He's 102 today. Happy yeah. birthday, granddad. Happy yeah. birthday. Um, and we're basically just going to have a bit of a chilled one. I've got a few days off as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it so far. We're just making some more plans for uh, our next adventure. So we're just going to go and grab something sweet now. And then we're going to head to the cemetery. And then um, I'll catch you up either on the way out or when we get home. cemetery now uh, we're gonna head into Primark then head home I think um, I feel like we have had a long day and a very very long journey um, quite a few buses later <laughs> um, I've got a bit of editing to do today and a few emails to send but that's pretty much it and that's yeah that's all I've got to do today having a nice chill relax yeah. Um, I'm off now anyway for a few days. So it'll all be fun times. Yeah. And I keep getting strange looks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, very yeah. curious, aren't they? Yeah. I don't particularly care very much. You know, if you want to know what it is and they need to go and see YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, Prime Out was too busy. <laughs> I'm at last. Um, we didn't end up going into Primark after all only because it was so busy that we literally just could not get in and um, there was actually a queue to get in to wait for Primark. My mum's resting right now, it's been a long day for her um, and I'm going to catch up on some of my um, emails now, just turn this down, I'm going to catch up on some of my emails now as I said. Yeah today's been a good day you know. It's my granddad's birthday. He would be 102 today. Um, and, you know, 
I know I've said this many many times over but I feel blessed that I got to know him Um there's not that many people get to know the grandparents and you know the parents and whatnot but I felt blessed to get to know him get to spend time with him get to be around him and have that interaction with my grandparents especially my nana and my granddad's like they were they were they were good people let's put it that way uh, but yeah it's like I'm tired guys <laughs> it's been a long day already and like I feel drained a little bit today like lacking of energy um, so I think I'm just going to call it an early night tonight I reckon So we're officially in Liverpool now, um, we're on our way to Kerr Fashion Fest which is one of the, another event that I've been invited to on behalf of Shein. Um, Shein is one of my uh, affiliate programmes that I actually have um, and what I'm going to try and do is see if I can get you some extra discounts as well. Um, I'm exhausted today for some reason and literally last night I didn't really sleep very well anyway. Um, ain't that beautiful? But yeah, so I'm going to head in, get warm because it's kind of cold out here and then I'll update you once we get inside. And here's who the character is. Yes. yes. You know, but then you have places like Shrill, for instance, which is on Hulu. There are, you know, I do feel like we are making steps forward for a curve woman to be that leading lady without yeah. her size being a characteristic of her. Yeah, because you don't want it to just be, she's a plus size actress. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's just an actress. actress. Exactly. She's just an actress, but she's also just a person. Yeah. I think that's what it is. The character should just be a person. Yeah. And her idea of her body shouldn't be the leading line or storyline of oh, what's happening. she is. Yeah. And, you know, how that person or character is defined. I know. Because we are more than, you know, us and ourselves, we are more than our sizes, we're, you know, it's our personality. There's you know. all different types of curved women Absolutely. and who they are, and I think that's what needs to be shown more in film and television. Yeah, because it trickles down into society every day. Yeah, of course. We're sitting amongst normal, regular human people. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. beautiful people. And uh -huh. you, no, not okay, I used the wrong word, I take that back, not normal, extraordinarily amazing, is that yeah. <laughs> well, I'm putting myself in that. <laughs> like you said. Um, you know, we want to 
have something that we can relate to and often we're just I'm constantly struggling with the idea that I have to be that in order to be that person who is yeah. in the position of limelight and really that they should be giving me more examples where we're just being ourselves. And Absolutely. Like, and not playing a stereotype or play, you know, playing someone else's definition of who we are just because you're a race or a size or whatever. I think regardless, you know, we should be, in the industry at least, we should be noticed for our talent and for yeah. what we do rather than how our size reflects on that. Yes. And I think, you know, we're so much more than what our body is. But our body doesn't define us, we define who we are in our personal life and our professional life. Yeah. So, you know, I always say to people, I don't want somebody to look at my journey and want to take that journey. I want them to take inspiration from mine to find their own. It's about taking ownership of who you are, and yeah. that's what you can do. For and it. that's the most positive thing. For your own mental health as well, oh, yeah. it's not about wanting to look like someone else. It's not about wanting to get to where someone else is. You have to find your own journey for your own happiness, because you might get that, that thing that the other person has got to find out that, you know, the grass is not greener. You have to find it for yourself. Being unique is the most powerful thing that you can That's be able to is unique, isn't it? It's, it's an amazing thing, particularly being in your own positions. Um, constantly being in the public eye, which is really great. So what are your top tips of confidence you can give to everyone else? There's so many. I mean, I can just, my, I think my top tip for, it's just to remember that staying true to yourself is, is something that, I know it takes time, but once you actually find who you are in that present time and take that acceptance and you live in a state of acceptance, your life is going to be so much more freer. And it's just, you know, do something for you. Take care of you. Whether that is crystals to oils, giving yourself a bath at night, Find time to talk to your own self and find what means something to you. Because at the end of the day, that will go a long way. And you know, I always say this, you know, when you have a negative thought that comes in your mind about who you are, you've got to block it with a positive and you've got to fake it till you make it. We're in positive. A hundred percent. Yeah. And for you, Sandra, talk to you. <laughs> Learn to look at yourself in the mirror and love you. you. You don't have to be anyone else. You can be inspired by people, but it's not about you, you yourself, this is our one body, when time come and gone, it, 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 it come and gone, do yeah. you know what I mean? And we're here, we're living our lives, you have to find a way of loving yourself, because you, you know, people, it's like, I'm not Christian, I'm a Buddhist, but people say, God don't make no mistakes, we are all beautiful, everyone is beautiful, but you just have to find that place where you find, feel it in yourself, and like Haley says, we do have those negative comments, but like when I hear my friend saying it, a friend said it to me the other day, oh, I look like a monster, and I said to her, I know, and I said to her, okay, so if I turn around to you, if your boyfriend said to you, you look like a monster, what would you do? She went, we'd be done. Yeah. <laughs> I said, if your friend came up to you and said you look like a monster, she went, I said, so why are you, why are you letting that come out of your mouth? You be your Don't let those things, don't let those comments that we say to ourselves, when you, when you hear it, catch it and curve it and you start being really aware of when it happens each time. Get my makeup done! Finally got my makeup 
done, I've got lady. Yeah. Um, my mum also got her makeup done as well. <laughs> it looks lovely. <laughs> but she ends it. Yeah. And once um, we. I'm pretty little thing. Yeah. This Kerr Fashion Festival this year is so much better than the last last year. I am really surprised. And in all honesty, Simply Be is here as well. They're another one of my sponsors. Um, and also. Sheen is one of my sponsors and a few other guys that are here but they're also my sponsors and they all recognise me. Oh, speaking of being recognised, a girl came up to me today. Um, hi to Christina. Um, I see a girl. Um, she basically recognised me and said, is she on, are you on YouTube? And I went, yeah, yeah, I'm from YouTube so I'm being recognised now guys. Nice fun. Hi. In all honesty though, if you do like watch my vlogs and whatnot,
By the way, this is my old TV. So the taps are decent for free. The leggings are from Primark. And the boots are from Super as well. Yeah, man. Yeah, And I'm home. Oh, sorry guys, I just need to get all this gel out of my hair that I've like used to keep in my hair. Oh, feels amazing. So yeah, we're finally home now. Oh, focus on me. There we go. Finally home now, guys. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it here for tonight. Uh, we had an absolutely amazing time. We went out for a bite to eat as well um, at Miller and Carter as well. That was really nice in Miller and Carter. We had such a lovely waitress. She was called Bex. So thank you, Bex. Heads up to you. Thank you very much. Uh, much. I see, I'm tired. I can't even speak. So good night, guys. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Hi guys, so obviously it's not Sunday and um, it's actually been about a week, a week and a half since last um, picked up a camera really. So basically I just wanted to explain what's happened. Um, on the Sunday morning I woke up with a headache that progressed into a migraine and I do actually suffer really badly with migraines anyway. So because of that I wasn't able to uh, see um, or do anything for about four or five days which actually stopped me from going into work as well. Um, then on top of all that lot, I also had the cold so I was not well at all and I mean I think you can still hear it in my voice now. Um, I lost my voice and you know I was sneezing and coughing and I, I was just a mess basically. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here because I'm actually editing the uh, vlog as we speak, um, as I speak even, um, and it's kind of like looking around about the 45 minute mark, which is really, really long considering. So if you are still with me at this point, thank you very much for continuing to support me. Um, and I will do the unboxing and try on haul in a different uh, video. Give me a thumbs up to let me know that you're still here. But yeah, pretty much, I just want to say thank you anyway for sticking with me so far. Um, welcome to the new subscribers. Um, 
and also I just want to say thank you to um, every single person that is still watching this and has watched me for a long time I know it's a bit of a long-winded one um, but I'm getting through it guys I'm getting through it so yeah with that being said I'm gonna end it here and I shall speak to you all again on the next video toodles